Assalamu alaikum students. In today's video, you will see advantages and disadvantages of friction. What is friction? Friction is a force between two surfaces that are in contact with each other. Friction is an opposing force. It acts in opposite direction to that of the motion of an object. Friction slows a moving object. When friction takes place, it produces heat and it also causes wear and tear of the object. Let us see few advantages of friction. Friction between pen and paper enables us to write on the paper. So friction is a force which acts when the two things are in contact and they rub against each other. So when we are writing, there is a contact between the tip of the pencil and the paper. This enables us to write. This is only possible because of friction. If there would have not been any friction between the tip of the pen and the paper, then our fingers would have slipped from the paper. We won't be able to write. So friction plays a very important role while writing. Another use of friction in our daily life is when we are standing, walking and running. Friction between our feet and the ground allows our movements like standing, walking and running. So if we are standing, there is friction between the earth or the ground where we are standing and our foot. If we are walking, friction is created between again the ground on the earth and our foot. Similarly while running, there is friction created. So because of friction, we are able to make movements on the ground. We are not slipping. We can make movements on the ground. So it's an opposing force. Friction acts between the surface of the road and tires of our vehicles too. It allows the vehicles to move smoothly on the road without slipping. So because of the friction, vehicles are moving smoothly on the road. They are not slipping. When we ignite a matchstick, we rub. Yeah, we strike the matchstick against the matchbox. So what, what are we doing? We are creating friction. Yes, when two surfaces rub against each other or strike against each other, they are in contact with each other, friction takes place. So here the matchstick ignites only because of friction. There is friction between the tip of the matchstick and the matchbox. Friction is also important in doing work. Here, a nail is being fixed in a piece of wood. Yes. So when we are taking a hammer and we are trying to fix the nail in the wood, there is friction which is created between the surface of the hammer, between the hammer tip and the nail 
surface of the nail so because of the friction what is happening the hammer is not slipping off the nail it is coming in contact with the nail so when things are in contact friction takes place friction force acts between those two surfaces so because of that friction the nail the hammer force is going to the nail and then the nail can go inside the wood very easily so here you could see that there are many advantages of friction in our day to day life here in this image the girl is skating so why the why uh, what happens when the girl skates what are there at the bottom of the skate the bottom of the skate there are wheels yes these wheels they rub against the surface the road and they create friction so because of this friction the girl is able to skate the girl is not slipping off the road the girl is able to move forward and she can skate so if she is moving to the left the friction will act to the right friction is always friction acts always in the opposite direction to the motion of the object yes so friction is an opposing force but yes it is useful in this image the boy is sliding yes now here friction is taking place between the body of the child and the surface of the slide here you can see the slide is very smooth so it said that friction doesn't take place on smooth surfaces or friction is very less on smooth surfaces so here the person the boy is in contact with the slide so of course when there is when the two things are in contact with each other friction takes place and here because of that friction the boy can slide or roll down the slide easily yes he can slide on the on the surface very easily because of friction the so friction is a sliding movement it can be the types of friction sliding and rolling these are the types of friction so here sliding friction takes place another example of friction in daily life is ironing here the surface of the iron is in contact with the cloth what we are ironing so when the surfaces are in contact again friction takes place and here of course heat also plays an important role so because of heat and the heat is supplied to the iron the iron surface is in contact with the cloth so friction takes place between the cloth and the iron and then the cloth gets ironed so this is also again an example where friction is used in our daily life let's see what are the disadvantages of friction due to friction heat is produced in various parts of the machine so when machines are working they are in contact the parts of the machine are continuously rubbing they are in contact they are moving they are rubbing and moving against each other so here friction takes place and whenever a machine works after some time the machine gets heated yeah the body of the machine gets it becomes warm and if it is working for a longer period of time it gets heated up so here whenever friction takes place in machines in the parts of machine lot of heat is produced and then but where this the heat is going the machines are working but then this heat goes in the surroundings and it gets wasted so this is one of the disadvantage of friction that due to friction heat is produced and that heat we are not using it is getting wasted in the surrounding so heat gets wasted due to friction now 
the engines of the automobiles also when they are moving they are producing friction also inside so what happens is they are consuming more fuel when they are when they are running yes when they are on the roads when they are running on the road a lot of fuel is consumed and when lot automobiles when they consume more fuel what is there there is a money loss so if you have to fill more fuel you have to give more money for it so this is again one of the disadvantage of friction that it consumes the automobiles friction is produced inside the automobiles and automobiles consume more fuel which is a money loss also when machines are working friction produces noise in the machine so this is again a drawback that friction produces noise so friction produces heat which gets wasted friction consumes more fuel which is a money loss and friction produces noise in machine so these all three were related to working of machines friction also causes wear and tear of objects so if a shoe is worn for a longer period of time the soles of the shoes they get wear out so this is again because of friction continuously the sole is rubbing with the road so here friction is produced friction is more if friction is more it causes the shoe sole to wear out even the tires of vehicles they wear out after a long usage because if the usage is more there is more friction between the surface of the tire and the road and the tire wears out now since i discussed the disadvantages of friction these can also be reduced let's see how friction can be reduced by using rollers or wheels yeah if it's a flat surface if the surface is flat more surface will be in contact with the road and there will be more friction so one of the ways of reducing friction is use rollers and wheels rollers and wheels their surface is smooth the area of contact with the road will be less so friction will be less ball bearings are used in ceiling fans this is an image of a ball bearing yes they are used in ceiling fans bicycles and vehicles they reduce friction yes they are very smooth and they are used in many articles or things and they reduce friction so this is one of the way to reduce friction that is using ball bearings now when the parts of the machine are continuously working yeah continuously moving they create heat noise and then ultimately after a period of time the parts get they make start making more noise yes because of the friction they start wearing out so one of the way of reducing this is oiling and greasing the parts of the machines so if we oil the machines regularly or grease is also applied on the parts of the machine it helps in reducing friction so this is one of the way to reduce friction after oiling the machines the noise which was produced earlier more will become less and the parts will also function smoothly so when the surface becomes smooth the surface in contact with each other the rubbing reduces and friction ultimately reduces
While playing carrom board, the striker will only move smoothly only when we sprinkle powder on the carom board. Usually boric powder is used on the carom boards. Now while this, why this powder is used? This powder helps the striker to move smoothly on the surface of the carom board. So there is less friction between the striker, the surface, the bottom of the striker and the board. So if friction is less, the motion, the speed will be more of the striker and ultimately your powder will reduce the friction. So this is also one of the way of reducing friction. Oiling and greasing, using ball bearings and sprinkling powder. Thank you.